All right, guys, we're out here doing a deer hunting video, but instead of me deer hunting, we're letting Gabe do the deer hunting for the first time. He is my Canadian editor for about three years, and he's finally made it down to the United States of America to do some deer hunting. But before he does some deer hunting, we're gonna make sure he can actually hit the deer that we're hunting. So, we're gonna be using a crossbow because that's what makes sense. It's not gun season, and he's never really shot a bow before, so this crossbow is actually the perfect little medium thing right here. What are you thinking, Gabe? I'm thinking we're gonna kill a deer. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So right now we're standing, the target's right down there. How far are we, Cody? I'll shoot it first, just so that you know what to expect, and then we'll let you shoot it again. 30 yards. 30 yards, so right here? From right here. That's pretty perfect. That's about how far we're gonna be shooting, so. And then through this scope, you're gonna be seeing that there's one, two, three, and then four crosshairs. That's 20, 30, 40, and then 50. But first, I'll show you to cock it, in case you do need to cock it without me somehow. But with this and the whole thing's built in, come in, latch it right there, pull up. Once it clicks, you just let the pressure off, unhook it there. And whenever it cocks, this one goes on safety automatically. Okay. So you will have to remember to flip off the safety. Mm -hmm. But then I'm gonna pull an arrow since we're 30 yards. Which pin is that? Second pin. That's right, yeah, you're good. For all these first time crossbow users, okay. Whenever you see this right here. Yeah. It says, keep your fingers below that. Mm -hmm. That means to put it above it? No. Oh, okay. It means put your fingers below it. Otherwise, you will not have them anymore. Oh. 30 yards ain't bad. On the tree stand, you'll be taking a rest. So on the tree stand, it'll make it even easier. But this should be pretty easy for this. So I'm just going to shoot it once. Hey, anyway, I don't know. That way you know yeah. what to expect yeah. a little bit more. And then this next arrow, I'll let you do the whole thing. Just push it forward. Yeah, you just slide the safety forward. It's right there. And then after that, it's just like a, just like a rifle. We'll hold in the second pin. So, yeah. I think, I think I can do that. You think it's yeah. pretty simple? All right, there you go. Just try it. That's a really nice crossbow. And so far, one deer has been killed with it, which is not bad. Where am I hooking, right here? Oh yeah, that's important. Yeah, right here. Right there on that really thick part of the string. So down and just hook it. S smooth, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Keep going, keep going. There you go, and you're good. Pretty much it, crossbows are really simple, but they sure work. They're deadly. Now, grab the short arrow, because that's the one with the field tip. And then you can read the vein. It says this vein down. Put that one down. Yeah, exactly. You got it. Gabe's a natural out here. He can read English and everything. Gabe's doing good. Yeah, and then just push it all the way back. And Does it, you that's click? good. That's good. Yeah, you're good. So now just aim down, safety off, and then second pin right in the middle. Take your time, smooth, slow, smooth trigger pull. All right, let's go high. check it out. What'd you think? I think I shot it too fast. I think I should wait a minute. All right, we got we got practice. We got time. It's a single shot. What do you think? First time crossbow user, what would you say? I've never shot a crossbow. You've never even shot a crossbow? I've not. I don't have a reason to. Huh. Crossbows are the perfect thing in between an actual bow. Look, he hit the black. I think that was my arrow. <laughs> my arrow hit the black. His arrow was just a little bit off. Good thing at 30 yards, it's still really good enough to kill a deer. Is it? Yeah, but really? we're gonna let you, we're gonna pull these two arrows out, let you shoot them again, and then. I think I can get them both in that. You think you can get them both get in them that? One sec yeah. Okay. What'd you just say, you think you can do what? I think I can get them both in here, free holding it. All right, let's see it. It's deadly accurate, isn't it? Yeah, that's really fun. I'm gonna get a crossbow. What I will say is I think that a crossbow is inherently more accurate than a gun. Now, is that crazy? I don't think so. So with bullets though, there's little things that can be different, but with an arrow, it's literally exactly the same every single time. So your projectile has no variance, like a bullet might, or low quality ammo, I guess. Anyways, Gabe, here you go, shoot it again. Wait, you gonna put your foot under that. Yeah, that'd be bad. <laughs> Whenever I first told you we shoot a crossbow. Yeah. What did you think? You think we was gonna be like doing Viking stuff or? No, because I edit the videos and I know what this crossbow looks like. That's a good point, he does edit the videos. So you probably already knew exactly what to do. Pretty much. All right, well, we, well let's do yep. this. Aim, then safety, then shoot. I'm just gonna aim for the bigger black actually. Oh, changing it now, huh? Safety? No, you just gotta pull the trigger harder. No. All right, hold up. Safety on. Your arrow is not far back enough. Did I not pull it back enough? You hold it up. Uh, what if you like turn it around the other way and like look at it with your eyeball like up this way? Uh, well, is there a way to uncock it without shooting it? That's what I'm trying to do. I don't know if there's a good way. 
There we go. It just cocked. I have no idea what happened, but it's working now. All right, we're good now then. All right, technical difficulties. I think we figured it out. All right, Canada man, make this shot count. All right, now on to the next one. If you get this other one in the black, you're about as good as you can literally get. If I get it in the black, am I the best crossbow no. user on the channel so far besides you? Mm -mm. Uh, Who's better? Maybe. Yeah, I guess so. You'd also be like third crossbow user on the channel. So. Anybody's better than Abram, no offense. Jeez. <laughs> Gabe's just throwing Abram under the bus. You're lucky he ain't here right now. Keep going back, keep going back. All right, that's probably good. It's it not good. Dude, Maybe watch having it on safe is a problem. I think that's the first time anybody's ever said that. We need to talk to Invader about this. Who's Invader? Yeah, you can't have the safety on. That's a weird thing. That's what I'm saying. All right, note to self. Don't, don't put, put the, the safety, safety on. on. Yeah. Just not while you're trying to cock. Only keep the safety on when you're about to shoot. I right, gave. Here's your final chance right here. So if I get this in the black, we're golden, right? Pretty much. Yeah, we're, yeah. If you get it close, which you did change your challenge to the bigger black circle, but we'll take it. We'll take it. <clears throat> All right, let's go see. Let's go see. What's better? You think you're going to kill something, Gabe? We're going in the morning. There's been deer in that spot every single well, morning. That's actually pretty good. This morning, this buck was right here in the location. We're going to shoot whatever walks, unless it's a little buck or the one buck I'm after, which he don't come in this area. So if it's, bit, if it's brown, it's down, unless it's a small buck. But that buck that we just saw on curl camera today, it's not a small one. As for your groups, if you, I feel like if you'd been aiming right up here, you probably could have done it. But yeah, is that good enough to kill a deer? Yeah, you, you know how big you gotta, be, you know how big you gotta do to kill a deer. Uh, really? It's big. If you can hit within that, you can kill a deer. Really? Yeah. He's jumping right now for y'all who can't see. Gabe, you're good. This poor little arrow right though. Yeah, it's good. There we go, Gabe. How do you feel about your odds at shooting a crossbow and being able to kill something? I think we can kill something. I think you can too. How do you like that crossbow? I'm getting one. Oh, really? Contact and invader. I'm gonna buy one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill it here when I get home. I'm excited. All right, it's the next morning. What are you thinking, Gabe? We're gonna kill a deer. Ah, uh, we're gonna try. It's not that cold out this morning. Yeah, not yet. It somehow gets colder after the sun comes up.
but she just didn't come into the right spot. They, if they're hungry, they'll be back. What do you think, Gabe? How was that? That's pretty cool. That's pretty close. Yeah. We could have killed the spike, but we don't really want to kill the spike. But they saw something over there they didn't like. Could be a coyote. Could be a dog. Could be a bug. We don't know. Yeah, there's four of them out in the field, but they're 60 yards away. And our crossbow's only good out to 50. Oh, it just ran. No, I think other heads up. Oh, yeah. It is still early, though, so there's still a pretty good chance that more deer could come out or that they could even come back to the feed. There's five deer. Well, Gabe, we saw like 10 deer, but none of them worked out except for one, which was the Spock. We don't really want to kill Spock. So we'll come back this evening. Yeah, most likely. This is a pretty good spot. The wind was our problem though. It was doing weird stuff. I got these little milkweed things. If I pull them out and let it go, watch it, ready? And it kind of goes wherever the wind's blowing. And, uh, yeah, so I was dropping them out the whole time and our wind was blowing this way, that way, and that way at all different times. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, though. We're going to just come back in a little bit. Gabe, I don't know. Go eat breakfast, I guess. Those deer were right out here. Yeah. If we had a rifle. They would have been done for. Yeah, they'd been done. If we'd had a different scope, they'd been done for. And I have an idea, but we're not gonna implement that idea in this video. It'll have to be a later video, but I have an idea. Uh-oh. We'll be able to shoot 200 yards with my Two, idea. 200 yards with that? Yeah. All we'll right. be able to shoot as far as the arrow goes. Idea, idea. We'll see y'all at four o'clock. How'd it go? Pretty good, we saw like 10 deer and there was a spike that was like, could shoot it, but Kendall didn't want me to shoot the spike, so we didn't shoot it, even though I had a perfect shot. Literally, we, shot like, we saw like 10 deer though. It's not good. That's really good. I mean, That's it's more not good that you didn't get one. At least it didn't injure three. Yeah. Because I could have injured three. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been, <laughs> that would have been okay though. Gabe's already had a better hunting experience than you. I actually know how to work that scope. I know how to work a scope. <laughs> I do. Now? No, I've known for a long time. We'll just play the clip of him shooting for the 20 yard pin when he's just using the 40 or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want to buy that hat? Go to kennelgraywall.com slash shop. First link in the description. Now we sit and wait again. All right, Gabe, you shot a deer. She didn't go two. Yeah, you dropped a deer with a crossbow. It's pretty solid. <laughs> I don't think we have to track it. I don't think so. We just got to give it time to go ahead and hopefully die. Here you go, Gabe. I'm going to run down there and finish it off real quick. Sound good? Here you go. Just take this. I'm going to go do it quick.
Kendall just ran down there to make sure the doe was dead. Although I got it, I, sh I hit it really good. All right guys, Kendall's going to get the truck right now and I am going to go look at my deer. Walking up on my deer. I've never killed a deer before. Wow. Right there behind the shoulder, I think that's where the arrow egg exited. Yeah, because deer was facing this way. That's crazy. It came up this hill. The feed is over there. And here's the arrow. You can see there's the arrow. It broke, broke the arrow off. It's crazy. And I've never even seen a deer up close before. Like hunting in that stand was like this morning was like, this is the closest I've ever seen a deer. So I don't really know how big deer is or whatever, but, but there it is. Let's go. Grab the arrow, grab the leg. Let's drag it up here on flat ground and we'll... From the back leg? Hey, either way you want to, it don't matter. Pretty good doe. Perfect doe, it's what we's after. Heavier than she looks. Oh yeah, she's big. Now so, it's time to gut it. So is this the exit here? Yeah, that's the exit. It kind of went like, like this maybe? Kinda. Like, we'll see when we flip it over, but. All right. And we're gonna get this game really quick. And by the way, I'm gonna be getting it, and I'm gonna be getting this bad boys with the new knife, the KG gut hook pocket knife, so that not only can you have a pocket knife, you can also gut a deer with it if you just happen to kill one. All in one knife. Start by poking through right here. Main part right here. And you put that gut hook in it. That's pretty slick. Yes, very. I still can't really believe I just did that. <laughs> She's in. Big dough. Perfect to eat. And we're gonna be eating it right here in a few minutes. So here's this. You can set that uh, in the floorboard and let's drive back. That happened fast. It did, that's how it goes. 